Hey GED students, so I had a student from Facebook message me and say that she was struggling here with these perimeter of composite shape problems, especially where uh, shapes that were composed of rectangles came into play, okay? So let's go ahead and look at a couple of examples of that. So first one, it says find the perimeter of the composite shape below. Now good news and bad news. The good news is that for a lot of shapes, the concept of perimeter is found on the GED formula sheet. You know, you can go find how to find the perimeter of lots of shapes on the formula sheet. Rectangles and triangles um, are on there. Um, the circumference of circles is on there. Um, but unfortunately, this shape here is not on there. Why? Because it's not a normal shape that we know. It's a composite shape. It's a shape that's been composed or made out of other shapes. Okay. And so because of that, I'm not going to use the formula sheet. Instead, I'm just going to use the definition of, per of perimeter. So what is perimeter? Perimeter is simply the distance around the outside of a two-dimensional shape or around a shape. So perimeter is like I sat there and I walked, you know, I started here and I walked around this shape. I walked this way and then this way and this way and this way. It's the total distance around the shape. Because of that, it's really easy to find the perimeter of any shape. Well, you could just add up those sides. So it seems at first glance that this is a very simple problem, but as the GED student who was working on this found, uh, it gets a little trickier when you don't know how long the sides are. Let me show you what I mean. It's like if I look at this shape here, you know, I know how long uh, this side is. It's labeled three centimeters. You know, same thing with this side. It's labeled six centimeters. But some of these sides are missing a label. And so that's where we should probably start by finding those missing sides. So let me just erase this blue marking here. And let's start with the first missing side. I do not know how long that piece is, but this is what I do know. It's part of a rectangle. Let me just draw a little dotted line here so you can see that it's part of a rectangle. Okay, so wonderful. I can see that it's part of a rectangle and I know something super cool about rectangles. I know that opposite sides, so sides that are across from each other, are congruent. And that just means they're the same length. So let's actually use that fact to do the easy missing side first. There's a really easy one uh, because you can see that this side here, and I'm gonna use a different color. Let's see, let's use green. This side here, is directly opposite this side here of this rectangle. And we said opposite sides, sides across from each other, are congruent. That means that if this side is three centimeters, so is this side. Okay, that was an easy missing side length, but how about this confusing blue one here? That one's harder because I don't have a straight across option, but here's what I can do. Take a look. If I look at this side, you know, I don't know how long this piece across from here is right now, so that's not going to help me. But I do have some information, okay? This is what I know. I know this whole long piece. This long piece here is 10 centimeters, okay? So that means that this whole long piece must also be 10 centimeters. Okay, opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So if the, the, the bottom is 10 centimeters, then the top of that set, same rectangle must be 10 centimeters. Now you might say, Kate, how is that gonna help me? Well, you can see that this uh, top line, this right here that I'm looking at, this line right here, is broken into pieces. It's part of many rectangles from above. Let me show you what I mean. This part I already know. This part here is three centimeters. This part I can also see the measurement of. Remember that opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So if this side is three, guess what? This side is also gonna be three. 
Same thing for this piece. If this side is two, this side is also gonna be two. Now you might say, well, Kate, how's that gonna help me? Well, it helps me because I know the total. I know that all the way from this end to this end is 10. And I know the size of all the pieces I don't want. I don't want the th three centimeters or this three centimeters or that two centimeters. I just want this remaining piece. So mathematically, if I know a total and I wanna take some things out, I can just subtract them. So I'm gonna take that 10 centimeters and I'm gonna subtract out the two the three and the other three. I'm gonna subtract out all the pieces I don't want of that side. Again, I subtracted because I know the total and I'm trying to remove the pieces I don't want. So 10 minus two minus three minus two. Oops, I just wrote it wrong. I uh, know I wrote it right, but I put it in my calculator wrong. Let me try it again. 10 minus two minus three minus three is just two. So this remaining piece here must be two centimeters. Now again, let me show you why that works. This whole length should add up to 10, and two plus two is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's a total of 10 centimeters going across. Okay, let me erase all my messy now, because now I have all the missing sides and I can find what I wanna find. So let me erase all this middle work. Remember, as we go to find the perimeter, all we need to do is go around the outside. So let's pick up a new color here. I keep pushing the wrong button. It's been a while since I've made a video. Okay, let's go all the way around the outside of this shape. This was three centimeters. And I'm gonna add that to this distance. That's six centimeters. Add that to that distance. That's three. Another three. As I find the perimeter, I'm always adding plus 10. It's just the missing sides could be addition or subtraction. Plus three, plus two, plus three, plus two, plus three. And really important that you don't miss any sides. That's the most common error that students make. And so I'm gonna just count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I got all those sides. So here we go. Three plus six plus three plus three plus 10 plus three plus two, plus three plus two plus three. And I get a total of 38 centimeters around the outside of that shape. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.